guys, it's me. It's coming up to the holidays and I'm about to start my food demoing job. I'm a brand ambassador and that's code for a pretty girl job. So if you ugly folks out there want it, you better just think about going back to Walmart. <laughs> Anyways, beyond the pride that you got hired for a pretty girl job, there's nothing fun about this gig. They only hire pretty girls because that's the only way they can motivate the deli boys to come to work. <laughs> anyway, when you see the shoppers, you see insanity of the world. First, you get the people. And you're like, so you want a sample? You want a sample? They're like, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. And then they flay, flay out of there. I'm like, dude, I offered you free food, not a pelvic exam or a free dental drilling. All right. Just take it for God's sake. I'm going to throw it at you so I can get rid of my samples. And then you get the mom with her bait, with her kid. And the kid's like, yay, yay, snack, 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 yay, yay, yay. And you're like, hey, kid. You're like, chill out, kiddo. It's kale chips, not candy corn. And then the kid knocks all the candy off of the table. And the mother's like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie, sweetie. You need to be more careful. And you're like, yeah, maybe you need to be more careful with your birth control next time because you're doing such a good job of controlling your kid. And I only have to spend all of what I'm making today to buy another sample of the damn food. And then so the mother walks and they walk on and then you get that woman the older woman who comes into the store probably to talk to all the people who work in the store. She doesn't actually have anything to buy. She just wants to talk to everybody. And she's like, oh, where is that food made? Where is the plant, the manufacturing plant? Where is the kale grown? And she asks you a million questions. And then she tastes it. She's like, oh, it's delicious. I'm like, lady, stop with the chatter. You going to buy it or not so I can make my damn quota or not? And then she's like, oh, I think I'll have to buy it later. I'm like, why, why, why did I waste all this time trying to sell you this crap then, lady? And answering all your dumb questions. What is this, a food history lesson? Then she like walks on to the deli man. And of course her favorite deli man that she's staring at going, mmm, mmm, they're juicy. Look at those muscles they make slicing the turkey. And of course with them, she's quick to like buy their turkey, right? She's like, mmm, mmm. Oh, yeah. I'm like, are you looking at the meat or the guy? And then she walks off. Du, 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 du. And then there's the woman who, of course, has all her dietary needs. And she's like, oh, there's too much MSG and sugar. In other words, she's like, I'm superior to you, bitch, because I watch my diet and you don't. I am superior because I monitor all this stuff. And you're like, um, yeah, you're wrong. I don't eat crap. I have to only eat rice cakes so I can keep this job and fit into the shirt they gave me. Because even the size large is made for like a 10-year-old, dude. And so then she walks up and the best customer is like the guy. And he's like, honestly, I don't like this healthy garbage. I prefer the juicy, high cholesterol, greasy burger, he tells me. He's like, I prefer it. And he's like, I'm not going to let you talk me to being, being healthy. 
My wife always is talking me into being healthy. I don't need another woman telling me how to be healthy. See you later. And I'm like, oh, uh, okay. And at this point, I'm ready to just pack up and leave. And luckily, my shift will be ending soon.